coming from Fresno, man, it was hard. Um, just being from the west side of Fresno, it was it was really hard. Um, you got a lot of distractions, and um, it's hard to stay focused if you're weak-minded. And even if you're strong-minded, sometimes you might need a mentor to help you through, just to guide you a little bit on the way. But um, it was definitely a struggle, but one that I appreciate because uh, what I went through here in Fresno helped me get through the things I went through when I got to college at Michigan. And it also helped me get through the things I've been going through in my little stint with the um, Bengals. And it's definitely helped me get through all the things I'm getting through right now in my nine years in the CFL. And just living in a different country and um, going through adversity. Um, life lessons that you learn here, I feel this is one of the hardest places to live and for numerous reasons. And um, if you can make it here, me being 31, that to me is a lightweight success story because it's not too many people make it this age and I'm still doing what I love. So it definitely helped me stay grounded and know what's really what really matters to me and uh, to go get it. Like they say, it's levels to everything. So to me, I feel like I came from the bottom up just on how I got my scholarship to Michigan was hard, but I did get in, um, got there, um, played two years, I left there on my own behalf of uh, me not being mature, still learning as a young guy. And um, I got a second chance at Eastern Michigan. Um, thank you to my coach English, who was tied in the Tony Perry, rest in peace. Um, great brothers helped me along the way. Um, and then from there, I was with the Cincinnati Bengals until the last cut. And to some that may be not good enough, but in my circumstances, I was the seventh cornerback taken on the team and I was undrafted free agent. So I was really there just to be a camp body and wasn't planning to get signed on the camp or mini camp. And I made my way um, from the teachers I've learned here, especially um, DB Guru and just knowing my worth and trusting in what I know and believing in myself. And from there, Playing my first year in Winnipeg, didn't know nothing about um, the country, didn't know nothing about the game really. Football is football, but you still got to learn the rules. Um, being in a whole new country where the money is different to you, it seems like monopoly money, but it's still currency. <laughs> and my name is Johnny Sears Jr. from Fresno, California. Currently professional, nine years, CFL. Right now with the Toronto Organized Champ.